pulling teeth? Is there any interviews you just feel like, uh, just anyone you've found it harder to get, get into? Yeah, I, I have. And I, uh, on some extreme levels where I kind of went, you know what, this isn't airable. I don't think I can air this because it wasn't feeling. compelling. Yeah, exactly. Because it was, and I don't like, I never like talking myself up, but I was here all excited and happy. And I honestly, I spent maybe 40 minutes just trying to get just the little bit of something out of them and they wouldn't budge. And whether they had a bad day, whether they just didn't like doing podcasts or interviews, I don't know what it was, but, it just simply didn't work. And uh, I look up to people like Denton who can in those situations sometimes try and, you know, with the six hours of torturing in that beforehand. <laughs> but I do look up to those people who can uh, polish a turd, essentially. Mm. But I have done that in a few interviews, but not many. I've, I've been quite choosy with the people I've had on the podcast. Um, and, and anybody who has said, hey, I want to come onto your podcast... I've always been with open arms and they've always been great guests. So, I mean, if somebody's saying, Hey, I want to be on your podcast, I think they've got something to say. You're not going to have yeah. too much trouble getting something out of them. Was that a well-known person that you, uh, did you end up running it? Somebody who's kind of making their way into the music scene. At and the did, you, did you run the interview or did you just can it? We, we didn't run it. Uh, <laughs> we, we contacted the publicist and said we've had a bit of an issue with scheduling and all that kind of... This is actually very new. I haven't said this on record. But we had an issue with scheduling, and we actually did, and it's just not going to quite work out. We had some kind of reasoning behind it and also said that we might get them on a, uh, another day when maybe they're releasing another album or something. So... Yeah, it was it was somebody in the music industry. 